Hello students, look at this picture. This is solid waste. Solid waste is polluting our planet. And one reason is the exaggerated use of solid waste during the quarantine. And only 9% is recycled. Now a student thin with these questions. What recyclable materials do we have at home? Could we turn them into others you've will see? What steps should we follow to create recycled scenes? Welcome students for our English class level A1. The number of the week is 25 and the topic let's manage solid waste. Let's start with the vocabulary. Pay attention. Burn, fold, view, inside out, hang, piggy bank, roll, sequence words, leave, throw away, tie knot, turn. Good. Activity number one. Let's recite. Look at the picture. What can you see? You can see a dead pelican. Inside its body, you can see waste solids that causes its death. So many fishes and birds die because the sea are polluted. Letty, observe the picture and reflect about these questions. What do you see in the picture? Life, death, or other option? Yes, death. How do you feel about the picture? Worried, sad, or other option? The, the three answers are possible. How could you change the situation in the picture? Burn garbage? Recycle or other option? Yes, recycle. Cycling, we can change that situation. Now listen and read. Listen to and read the instructions to create a new object for recycled material. Solid waste is a big cause of pollution on our planet. What can we do about it? One thing we can do is recycle. We can make something new out of something old or used instead of throwing it away. Here are instructions to make a bag made from an old t-shirt. How to make a bag with an old t-shirt. Today, we are going to make a bag from an old t-shirt. Materials. T-shirt. Scissors. One. First, cut the sleeves and the neck of the t-shirt. Two. Then, turn the t-shirt inside out. Three. After that, cut small strips at the bottom of the t-shirt. Four. Finally, tie the strips together to create the bottom of the bag. Five. Now, turn it inside out. And that's it. You have a new bag. This is a great way to recycle old clothes and take care of our planet. Okay, this is the part of your homework. Let's practice. Practice number one. Match the action with the picture. 
exercise number two, you have a listening comprehension. Activity number two, do it yourself. In this part, you have to create a list of recyclable materials and suggest things you can make from them. Okay? In the step number one, you have to look around your house and identify materials you can recycle. In my case, I consider newspapers, CDs, jewelry bottles, milk cans, cups, and rolls. Go to the second step. In this part, you have to classify the materials in three groups. Group number one, materials we use and throw away every day. For example, plastic bags. Another example is newspaper, and in my case, milk cans. In the second group, materials we use and sometimes throw away. For example, cardboard boxes. Uh, in my case, yogurt bottles and cups. In the third group, materials we use and occasionally throw away. For example, glass bottles, in my case, CDs and rope. When you finish, go to the step number three. Brainstorm ideas of new objects you can make especially for materials we use and throw away. For example, using all of these materials, I can make a bench or a pencil organizer. Okay? When you finish your evidence, you have to consider two characteristics. Number one, your list includes two materials, two recyclable materials in each group, okay, in each group. And characteristic number two, your list includes at least three, three creative materials, three creative ideas on what you can make using all of these recycled materials. Okay? I give you an example. This is my title. I love recycling. I make my charge and I consider in the group number one four materials plastic bottles, magazine, color paper, plastic bag. In the second group, I consider three cups, newspaper, and candy. In the third group, I consider three three materials paint, carton ball cone, glass bottles. I can make new objects using all of these recycled materials such as city bank, posters, and a pencil organizer. And that's all. Okay, students, please take care a lot until you next week. Goodbye.